I'm a science fiction fan, so I want you know the contact lenses that you know transform everything into whatever kind of themed world I want it to be. Uh, Rainbow's End, Werner Vinge kind of described a world like that. Um, I think a lot of people see that archetype as something that we'd like to have and that's probably going to get created within our lifetime, and I'm very much looking forward to it. When we started Niantic, there was a watch project underway at Google. Um, there was the, what ultimately was called Google Glass was underway at Google. Um, I um, personally kind of see an evolution of wearables, things like watches and things that you carry with you, Fitbit, Pokemon Go Plus, um, towards glasses and glasses evolving from you know things that are maybe not super sleek and sexy in the beginning, but will get more and more so over time. Uh, to me, it's a continuum. It's not a binary thing where there's not AR one day and there is AR at some point in time when some particular device gets launched. I think you can do a super fun AR experience with just a phone. I think Pokemon Go proves that. But uh, it'll be better with devices. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Pokemon Go Plus launch because that's going to give people a way to play the game and not look at their phone all the time and look around them and see the interesting places that we're trying to you know, help people discover.